Tom here from Lawrence Systems and Unify Cybersecure is Unify's enhanced security subscription designed to add threat intelligence, content filtering, and phishing protection on top of their standard gateway features. It's been around for a bit, but recent updates like the new filtering powered by Cloudflare have made it more interesting. In this video, I'm going to break down what it does and help you decide if it's a good value for your network. This video is not sponsored by Unify, and I am paying for the cybersecure subscription myself. I am able to do so, though, with the help from companies like today's sponsor, Huntress. You have a lot of data to manage. Security Information and Event Management, or SIM, was designed to help. But most SIMs are overly complicated, create noisy data, and are way too expensive. Huntress Managed SIM is built to give you everything you need from a SIM and nothing you don't. Get their smart filtering to cut through noisy data, 24-7 monitoring from their expert SOC, and compliance assistance, all at a clear, predictable price. Follow the link in the description below and experience Managed SIM for yourself with a free trial. Now, the first question people ask, and a very valid one, is how much does it cost? And I want to answer a side question that may come up. When you're looking at any of the gateway devices that support this, when you check the cybersecure box, it says $99 a unit for this model. That does not double if you go to an HA pair. It is charged for the setup in an environment, but not per user, just per device. But even if there's two devices, as you can see, the price didn't change. And I am using this in an HA environment myself with my subscription, and you only need one subscription. The subscription is technically on both devices, but because the other one's in standby, it's not being used. So Unify doesn't make you buy this twice in the HA scenario. Now, as of July, 2025, this $99 per unit pricing applies to all models except for two, the Enterprise Fortress Gateway and the Gateway Enterprise or UXG Enterprise. The two enterprise models are $499 a year and it's only $99 a year for all the other current models they support. I don't think $99 a year is unreasonable for a home user or small business that wants to use these. So I think the pricing seems relatively straightforward and it's very going to be subjective based on what you think of the features you get, whether or not you think it's an actual fair price. So let's take a closer look at those features. We have improved threat detection. So more effective signatures, better for threat mitigation. A larger signature database comes with the expanded coverage. Signatures from Proofpoint have undergone extensive analysis, leading to a low false positive rating. And I'll admit, I have not had a bunch of false positives on this. That, of course, can be tuned and will depend greatly on what you're doing in your environment. Now, I don't want to spend too much time on the efficacy of these signatures and whether or not they really provide value because it's so hard to determine. And it is just running Sericata underneath. So if you were to SSH into the system, you'd see it's running Sericata. You can see the rule sets that are there. And you get a free rule set without the subscription, which runs Sericata. And you get the enhanced paid rule sets when you buy the subscription. So this is a system without a subscription. You can see the categories and click on them for some level of tuning that's offered here. And when you move to a system that has a subscription, you'll see a couple changes. It tells you the total number of signatures. It has the same signature update, so you're getting signatures, you're just getting more signatures with the subscription. And these categories pretty much look the same. I have a video I'll link to where I talk about how that actually works. I cover it with Snort, but Snort and Sericata are so similar and can use similar rule sets. It's about the function and how they work. I'll leave that video link down below so we don't spend too much time on that. Now let's talk about content filtering and the new Cloudflare enhancement that's being offered. Cloudflare is one of the largest content delivery networks out there, so they know a little bit about categorization of websites. And I want to start with with how it works without the subscription. For those of you that didn't know, you can create a simple app blocking rule. You can get specifics such as Facebook, Facebook Messenger, YouTube, or take one of these out and say, no, I want to let these people access this. Or you can do it by category. And I can choose online games at the category to say business tools, database tools, or maybe block some email services hit save and apply. Now I've created a rule for blocking things and I can create several rules. And if we go over here to the content filter and click on the rule, there's still the ability to allow list or block list sites and schedule when you want those to work. This is fine for most people, but for those of you going, well, finding all those sites is a bit of a challenge. And yes, it is to know all the sites you want to block. This is where the subscription gives you a more enhanced content filter provided by Cloudflare. You have the ability to search these categories and you can see that there's a lot more of them. So you can get a little bit more fine grained on how you do this. But an important security factor here, new and risky domains, newly discovered domains, newly registered domains. These are two things 
used very frequently here in 2025 by threat actors. They will take a domain, newly register it, set up an encrypted certificate, which will blind things like Sericata from being able to inspect the traffic. And therefore, it can be a problem for security. It is possibly where a command and control server might be living. Now, this is going to potentially give you some false positives where someone just sets up a new restaurant in town and they newly registered the domain and therefore may get caught in a filter. So there are some risks by doing this, but the protection is pretty important in my opinion, and you can always go through and allow list those. You also have some security and threat protection for people who are maybe going to different phishing sites, DNS tunneling, or questionable activities, counterfeit brands, etc. just spammy sites, spyware, malware sites, deceptive ads, etc. because some users on your network may be going to sites where you can for legitimate reasons, download maybe a spyware sample and you don't want them to do that. Maybe you want to block those sites. They give you all these extra categories. And I think this is a really nice enhancement for people looking for that more fine grain control. So is Unify Cybers here worth it? That's ultimately your call. But for the price, I think it's reasonable for an added layer of protection, especially with the new Cloudflare enhanced content filtering. It's not magic and it's definitely not a full security stack, but for most networks, this kind of extra threat protection can help reduce risk without much complexity. Just remember, CyberSecure is a layer and not a silver bullet. It should complement and not replace your broader security practices. For those of you looking for a deeper dive into the content filtering conversation, you will find a video link down below where I go deeper into that topic. If you've got thoughts, questions, or different takes about today's topic, drop them in the comments down below. I always enjoy hearing from all of you. For deeper technical dives and ongoing discussions, head over to forums.lawrencesystems.com. And if you want to connect with me, head over to lawrencesystems.com. You'll find all the links on the socials. Like and subscribe, and I'll see you around online. Thanks.